Oh, hello guys. It's John582 here today. And today we're taking a look at this. It's K9, the K9 box set. So basically I will look at the first part of this and then the second part. And uh, hopefully you enjoy. So um, this is my review of the K9 box set. So we got K9 up here in bold writing. Then it says the Ultimate Collectors Edition. K9 Ultimate Collectors Edition. This is kind of strange because, um, uh, what's the word? Um, there's already one on Blu ray, but I couldn't get it. I really wanted to get K9 because um, it's from Australia and I could only find Australia, Australia's um, imports, so I'm happy to finally find one of these. So we're going to take a look at the back here. So it's got bigger use K9 and it's got the um, little um um information about the store you know the um series of K9 so I'll read it out to you TV's most loved robot dog K9 blasts back into action via a space time malipita and arrives in the twenty late 21st century in London K which is funny because it's you know made in Australia K9 is a cybotic concept from the 20th, 50th century and has the appearance of an earthling dog, both in shape and size. He arrives at the home of Professor Griffin, a re-owned cybernetic and technical, trying to say the words, Experiment expert who is working on the alien space time Malipita STM, which opens a portal to anywhere in space and time. K9 is following a group of rogue aliens, Janks Warriors, the Janks Warriors, who attack Griffin and a couple of teenagers, Starkey, a homeless r rebel, and Georgie. A very capital interest young girl, intelligent young girl, to save them. K9 sacrifices himself and explodes, soon followed by his regeneration, thanks to a strange alien detective input in his main frame. The new look K9 can now hoover and fly. Hovering fly, sorry. Good time doing a video in it. Um believe people are not well posting rubbish through the door. Um can now hover and fly and has more capitals than ever before. K9 loses his long term memory and begins a quest to not only protect humanity but to discover more about time and space travel pass. So we got it says four discs on here, nine hundred minutes. This is how long it's on for. Volume one. So this is what it looks like. As we all know, it, it in the scale Doctor Who it's Canine Bass, Sojourn Adventures, Doctor Who, Torchwood. So we've got Canine here, we've got Fulham, the world's favourite robot. Dog returns across time and space, it says down here. So we've got K9, it says the Folium and Series 1, K9. We've got the monsters back here. K9, it's got London, Big Ben, the robots, the snakes, and the monsters. So we've got the episodes down here. A lot of robots in there, but there are some. That's the jank, jank warriors, janks and warriors. Um. Take a look inside here. So I think each disc has two in. So this is what they both look like. They both look like this, and that one looks like that because it's got um, two on. That's the only difference really. The one and two. This has got a little bit of information in the back here. TP's most loved do robot doll canine blast back into blah blah blah. So that's the same. Blah blah blah. Same same. That's the same. The series features many new alien blasting menaces, 
from beyond time and space as well as some evil home grown human accessories. So, so a volume one is only 450 minutes long. So that is volume one. So join me next time, guys, for I will do volume two, which is not such a long one. This video will, won't that one video won't be so long. That will be next Monday, guys. So until then, guys, thank you for watching part one of K9's DVD reviews. Um, I will probably do if I ever do get K9 on Blu-ray, I will do that. I will probably have to make the video all together then. So um making a video together some deleting the other ones and putting them all together so thank you guys for watching please like please comment please subscribe until next time guys um just join for rate two out bye